Okay, so we did the green stuff, and it doesn't cover up everything perfectly, but it gives us a good start at least. Where is your concealer? So we're going with Rachel's color of Smashbox. It is the 1.1, super whitey white. So, just throw some of that on. And I like to do, now get your, your orange sponge if you haven't already gotten it. And uh, I think those are potential tenants scoping the house. Yay! <laughs> right. Your favorite thing. Oh, I was gonna joke about that when I came in, going, "Can I see the house?" I will punch you and make you leave. Okay, so you get your sponge. Make sure you get it nice and wet so it doubles in size, but then squeeze out the extra water. And then go ahead and kind of start from the center of the face and kind of work out. even a little darker than your skin tone. Surprisingly. <laughs> they don't make whiter than this, okay? Yes, they do. That's <laughs> but we didn't get you that. I don't think they do in Smashbox. Oh, yeah, maybe not in Smashbox. Did you hear my nose click? Is that what that was? Mm-hmm. I thought that was you making weird little protest noises. <laughs> no, that was you. My, my nose is a little screwed up. I think it always has been since I got hit with the swing. And, and sometimes she's my never nose... never been the same. <laughs> but sometimes my nose clicks and every now and then I'll actually like shift to where when I talk it vibrates. Like you would be able to hear the vibrating. <laughs> it's terrible. Brian gets so upset when it happens every time. So do I. I'm like, oh my god, this is not okay. I had a coworker at my last job who he had, he's gotten his nose broken several times and uh, his nose whistles now. Like I could hear him in the back seat during the carpooling. <laughs> I'm like, Brandon, is that your nose? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, it's really uh, really whistly today. <laughs> Just got a cloggy whistler. with the base because that way when we do the lip color you've got a nice you know flat palette to work with but you go ahead and make sure to bring the base down her neck. A little less punching of the jugular. <laughs> I was going more for the Adam's apple than the jugular. Yeah, you still get just a little violent with your makeup egg. Sorry. <laughs> I'm doing do that on myself. <laughs> I just assume what other people can handle too. It's fine on most of it, but just when you're on the squishy, you know, veins of my neck or the crunchy part of my nose. <laughs> I'm just trying to prepare you for the cruel The tiny world. monster that will be your child. Yeah, I'm kidding, my, niece or nephew, I you love might you. Get punched in the neck. I have no control over that. Are you sure it's on? Yeah, pretty sure. You're okay. still going. Just yeah. checking because you were going on enough and we've been on for a while. Yep. It's on. And a little red here still even through. But the nice thing is you can build up the coverage as needed. Okay, you gotta let me work. Sorry! <laughs> I hadn't said that yet. Like I have to be able to keep moving. Go ahead and bring a little onto over, blend over to her ears too, so it's not like white ears. <laughs> Just 
And the sponge is really good for helping to kind of avoid getting that cakey crease in the nose. You're, you might still get a little bit of that, but for the most part it helps with that a lot better than if you did the brush. Is that a little gentler? Thank you. I can go back if you like. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just really gonna go nuts with the uh, the base everywhere, just to really get that nice, consistent, blended look. Since it is just a little bit warmer than her natural skin tone. But you don't need to see all that. 